If you're like me, you probably don't really need a pickup truck. Sure, you might want one because you help your buddy move once a year or you buy some bulky stuff off Craigslist every so often, but a giant truck that can tow 20,000 pounds? Most of us really don't need that much capability on a regular basis. Enter the new Honda Ridgeline. It's a truck meant for people who need the versatility of an open cargo bed, but Honda's betting rational buyers will see that this is just as useful as a bigger truck despite its smaller size. Now that strategy didn't really pay off too well for the first Ridgeline, but this version is much better aligned with what people need in the growing small truck market. How does it look? Much more so than with the first Ridgeline, the answer is like a truck. Yes, it has a Honda Pilot face up front, but sharp straight lines make it clear this is a utilitarian vehicle. It's really stylish and it looks tidy and compact. I do find it amusing though that Honda designed in a fake bed separation line to give the Ridgeline a more truck-like appearance. How's the storage? Let's start by noting the really cool dual action tailgate. So it opens in the normal way, like this, but you can also open it to the side, like this. The bed itself isn't enormous. It's about on par with rival short bed trucks, and perhaps its biggest failing is the tall floor, meaning you have very short walls to stack things against. But fear not, because there's a lot more storage available underneath in this lockable trunk. And the coolest thing is, there's a drain plug, so when all the ice that was keeping your beer cool melts, you can easily drain it out. The bed also has handy tie-down loops, and high trim ridgelines get a power outlet and in-bed speakers for all your tailgating needs. Interior space is excellent. Up front, you get a huge center console with a sliding cover, while in back, you can flip up the seats to store even more stuff within the cabin. And of course, there are spacious cup holders and several big door pockets. Is it roomy? There's so much space. I've got loads of headroom in front, as well as a lot of elbow room on either side. The extensive seat and wheel adjustability will let any driver get comfortable. The back seat is plenty roomy for adults too, even if it's not quite as enormous as the fronts. Either way, the Ridgeline feels roomy and airy in both rows. How does the interior feel? This is the best trimmed interior in the small truck class, with great materials, a really sensible control layout, and these really comfortable squishy armrests. Now, if you're paying top dollar for the highest trim levels of the Ridgeline, you might wish some of the materials were a little bit nicer, but overall for a vehicle that's supposed to be tough and durable, the Ridgeline's interior is great. Is it well equipped? Gone are the days of small, cheap pickups coming with crank windows and vinyl bench seats. The Ridgeline can be equipped with navigation, LED bed lights, remote start, adaptive cruise with lane keep assist, heated seats, and so many other features. Basically, if you can get it on other Honda cars, it's offered as an option on the Ridgeline. How's the infotainment system? Honda's infotainment system really isn't my favorite. The graphics aren't the clearest, it's slow to switch between modes, and nothing infuriates me more than this touch-sensitive volume slider. Ultimately, it works fine, but I'm much happier when I connect my phone to use Android Auto instead. Honda's integration of Android Auto is also one of the best around, in part because you get supplemental navigation instructions in the instrument cluster instead of just seeing a compass. Is it a good daily driver? Now, the Ridgeline has more car-like unibody construction, and it's got a multi-link rear suspension, so compared to some traditional pickup trucks, you get really great ride quality. It's quiet, it's comfortable, it's easy to maneuver in the city. Honestly, driving the Ridgeline feels more like driving a Honda Pilot or a Cord than a pickup truck. Is it fun to drive? Fun might be overstating it, but the Ridgeline is really, really good to drive in every situation. The V6 is really strong, and coupled with the really responsive automatic transmission, you've always got a lot of power when you need it. 
And the handling's really good too, especially considering this is a tall truck with a really comfortable ride. It's still really well controlled. In fact, this would be a good driving car if it was a small SUV, never mind a pickup truck. How's the fuel economy? All-wheel drive Ridgelines like this one get 18 miles per gallon city and 25 highway, while front drive models bump those ratings up by one each. There's a downside to going for the more efficient model though. Front wheel drive Ridgelines can only tow 3,500 pounds compared to 5,000 pounds with all-wheel drive. How much is it? Prices range from about $30,000 to $43,000, which is a bit more expensive than the competition. This is the boringly named RTL E trim, the second priciest version behind the Black Edition, and it's 42 grand. That's a lot for a small pickup. You can get into a Ford F-150 XLT for that much. What are the negatives? Let's be blunt, the Honda Ridgeline is more car than truck. There's no real four-wheel drive system, there's no locking differential, it's got less ground clearance than a Subaru Crosstrek, and while 5,000 pounds of towing is a lot for most people, it's not as much as you can get from some rivals for the same price. Who should buy it? If you work on a construction site or a ranch or some other job where you need a really serious truck, don't buy the Honda Ridgeline. For everyone else, this is probably all the capability you'll really need. It'll haul mulch or mountain bikes or lumber, and it won't beat you up with a stiff ride, it's easy to park, it gets great gas mileage. In other words, the Honda Ridgeline is the perfect pickup truck for someone who wants one more than they need one. Hey, if you liked this Y bike, remember that there's a new one every Thursday on our YouTube channel. You can also leave us a like or dislike to tell us what you thought of this clip and leave us a comment about what you'd like to see in future Y bike videos. Don't forget you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter and you can see us at motorone.com.